Welcome back everyone. Dark Sounds Reviews coming at you with the Zombie Land Legend of Zap Road Trip DVD. Uh, Zombie Land Legend of Zap Road Trip is by developers and publishers Game Hill and Maxim Games. <clears throat> so Zombie Land Double Tap currently is available on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Free to play. I cannot stress this enough by telling everybody that you should probably download it and get it done as quickly as possible. If you're wondering, um, this way you can get past having to pay 40 bucks for it after the sale ends. Uh, and even now with the sale, it being 20 something dollars. Now, I usually take the price out of certain games because the price usually doesn't matter, but in this case, it really really does. This game is probably only worth about five bucks, in my opinion, if even that. Um, so, I'm going to get into some of the gameplay here. Uh, this is the horde mode that uh, is available to you after you complete the game or during the game. Um, or better yet, let's start off by showing how many levels there actually is in the game. Which is Welcome not very to the many. campaign trail. Um, we got like maybe 10 levels and all these little knobs that are like secret quests that only last about three to five minutes a piece. The story won't take you that long to get through. Uh, unfortunately, the game is way under, uh, I want to say about four hours, about four hours. Uh, there's even an achievement for beating it under five. Uh, and I messed up on the last level quite a bit because there is a lot of present bugs. This is another thing I will uh, not stress enough is that um, with the bugs that are there, uh, it makes it uh, damn near impossible to complete the 10th level unless you know how to get around it. Uh, I'm going to drop how to get around it as well because um, if you're going to get through the game while it's free, I highly, highly recommend. Um, there is the SWAT uh, spawners that spawn SWAT zombies. You'll know them when you see them in portaler potties uh, as you work your way through the level. A uh, good majority of the level is clearing out these nests so that you don't have to deal with them later. And if these nests are present on the top or the bottom and you miss killing some of the zombies uh, out of those nests, it, they will completely mess up the ending and you will not be able to complete the level, ma making it a major, major, major bug on top of all the little tiny bugs like... Uh, horrible AI and them getting stuck on things and your character getting stuck in the map from time to time and just just weird little bugs that are very very annoying uh, they don't really keep you from beating the game but they really do at the same time <clears throat> now with only this many levels to offer uh, I have to tell you that there is no replay value after you're done with it uh, this is it uh, aside from having to grind out maybe a four-player achievement and you're going to get all the achievements by the end of it. <clears throat> There's another thing that I want to make sure to mention is that uh, the game is highly, highly an achievement hunter's game. So if you're trying to go in for fun, this might not be the kind of game that you want to play religiously. Uh, after that, and um, it doesn't have much to offer um, after the gameplay is done. Uh, there's only a certain amount of uh, levels to go through and a certain amount of perks that you can best. upgrade your character with. Uh, that's going to be a grind towards the end. The horde mode is fun after for about like maybe one or two trips, uh, there is a really, really annoying and grindy achievement that actually makes the game a lot longer, um, which is 88 minutes of this horde mode in one little mode and you have to do it in one sitting. I'll probably make a guide for how to get uh, work around, around that so that you don't have to play as much effort as it can be a little frustrating. Done. 
They're not, not so much frustrating, just a pain to run around. Very least, like 60 plus minutes. Um, there's only so many zombies, unfortunately the graphics really suffer here, uh, there's nothing fancy, nothing really to write home about, uh, there is a lot of annoying little parts in the story mode that you cannot skip as well, so if you like fail a level you have to hear all the dialogue over and over and over and over again. They have the RB skip, but it's like it's still like right there in your face and they're still talking and there's some parts that you can't even skip at all which I found very uh, tedious and annoying. But thankfully the story is over before you even start it, um, as the levels aren't really thought out. It's basically just get from point A to point B, very lackluster kind of mission stories. Um, the zombies aren't too fast either once you upgrade your character. You know, it can be a little bit of a hassle, but after that, not really too much. You upgrade your health and your speed first, and you're basically set. I went with damage first, just so that I wouldn't have any trouble. Um, aside from that, the horde mode can be fun, but unfortunately does not offer any online capabilities. And for its price, it like it should definitely have some kind of online capabilities, even if it doesn't work correctly or like all the time. It should definitely offer something. Um, but it, it unfortunately does not. It only offers local co-op, and uh, local co-op, that's where some of the really cool features kind of happen, you know, because this game is definitely probably more fun with a co-op partner. Um, not saying that local isn't fun, but, you know, if you don't have any local buddies, which it's very hard to find anybody locally now that want to play these kinds of games with you, if at all. That make oh, it a little bit of a trial and there in that that area. Um, other than that, the game is not very polished either. There's a lot of a lot of people bugs. I've been stuck in maps. Um, I've had like uh, weird little glitches where the, the weapons just stop oh, shooting yes. and bug out. Uh, I've had other ones where uh, the zombies are getting stuck in the map. I've had other ones where like I just get stuck in the middle of like, nowhere. Uh, that bug at the end of the, the end of the game as well that makes it even worse. And just a lot of really like annoyances and a lot of really cool bugs. Uh, the storyline isn't really anything worth writing home about. Started. There's more grind than anything, I would say, towards the end of it. I found myself grinding more than I actually played the game. Um, but uh, for what it is, I would say, you know, definitely not worth the price. Uh, even on sale, I would definitely wait for a major price drop. But if you must, must have it. Or you must must complete it. I would say complete it while it's free, or wait for the next free to play um, kind of days that come around. The AI is very clunky and very uh, not not too smart either. The game is super super easy. It's probably like one of the easiest shooters I've ever played. Um. There's not very much variety in the weapons. Uh, you're you're going to go through all the weapons pretty quickly. And you're going to definitely find your favorites right away. They have environmental damage and stuff, but uh, they take out a lot of uh, the fun in the environmental stuff with co-op. Because the co-op has like kill of the week. And that would actually really be pretty cool to implement online, but unfortunately not have any online whatsoever. Uh, repay value, like I said, it's, this is the horde, and this gets really like tiresome after a little bit. Not anything to write home about either. Very lackluster, very basic common, you know, go kill one or two nests, or, or 
kill X amount of enemies, survive X amount of minutes, um, and then just re wash repeat, not anything else to do other than that in the horde mode. So it kind of gets really repetitive really quickly. Um, I wouldn't say it was such a horrible game to go through, but it's definitely uh, not one of the funner games. I thought it was going to be a lot more than I expected. Unfortunately, it wasn't. So if you're looking to buy this game at a later date, I would say hold off and wait until a major, major, major price drop. I, I, I wouldn't give it too much longer until the game drops for about five bucks. If even that. Other than that, uh, yeah, uh, mostly an achievement hunters game. Try and see if you can get it done over the free weekend. I will be uploading this to YouTube. Um, other than that, that's kind of all the game has to offer. Uh, lackluster story, full of bugs. It's just a mess. Um, ultimately, I have to give this game a 3 out of 10. Uh, it does work, but for what it works, it just it doesn't hit the spot of where you would expect it to hit. So, yeah, just hold on to your money and play it during the free weekend. And if you can't make it during the free weekend or you don't get to play it, um, hopefully you see this review and you really think about a uh, price drop at least. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching. Uh, I will probably put up a couple guides for some of the more annoying achievements in this game. We'll see what happens. But I don't expect much else after this. It's a very, very easy game. Um, but less work is better, I would say, uh, for this kind of game. Anyhow, once again, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, as I was playing it, <laughs> that's really all it has to offer, point A to point B. And, uh, yeah, happy gaming, everyone, and thank you all for watching.